Celebrating 70 years in business with 70 days of deals. Jai Cunningham, right across from our Wake of the Day studio. He joins us now with more on what you can expect this weekend from Foodland Farms. Good morning, Jai. Hey, good morning, Christine. Yeah, you know what? 70 never looks so fabulous. And Foodland is going above and beyond over the next 70 days to sort of uh, bring the celebration to the people. I want to welcome in corporate chef uh, Keone Chang. Good morning. Uh, good morning to you, Keone. If you don't mind, yeah. start, let's start with, first off, I can't believe it. 70 years yeah, zoomed by. Fast. It was super fast. <laughs> what yeah. are some of the things that folks can expect over the next 70 days? We're talking yeah. almost three months. We're talking in, well into the summertime. Yeah, so we'll be kicking off deals and specials statewide in all the stores. We're going to be having lots of in store demos. Uh, we have a lot of really fun promotions happening. And in the store here, all of Mono Food and Farms, we're king, kicking off a whole bunch of different new menus. So we're doing some new things for our Field Wine Bar. And uh, I'm going to do ahi tostadas here. Uh, we've got some. Uh, Cheesy bread there with marinara that's going to be on the menu. Okay. We have fries and rinds, so those are garlic pepper fries and vinegar chicharron. Awesome. One of the desserts we're doing is a profiterole, which I think is amazing. It's vanilla gelato on a cream puff shell, and we're going to put chocolate sauce on it. And this uh, tostada, I think, is really, really delicious. So we're taking, we're frying shells, we're putting an Asian slaw. We have our Hawaiian style poke from the poke department that we're putting on here. And then I take a little bit of uh, Asian guacamole and put it on the top here. Make it a little fun there. And yep. then go ahead. The great thing is all this stuff we're seeing yeah. is now available here at Foodland Farm. Actually, you're getting a special preview. Oh. All of this starts this weekend. Oh, okay. Uh, in conjunction with a poke battle that we'll be doing. We'll talk a little about that more a little bit later, but these are all starting this weekend. Oh, okay, so, so so we're getting a bit of a preview, yep. but Folks that are going to see this today and go, yeah, I want to give that a try. It's coming to the menu soon. Mark your calendar for Saturday, and we'll have this all ready for you. And you know what? Tell me a little bit about what you're doing okay, right now. So this is the profiterole, and it comes out without the sauce. And then when we when oh. you get it, we put oh the sauce on here for you. We make it nice and shiny and happy. And I heard that you can never put too much chocolate sauce, so we put a little on the side here. I was going to say, you're exactly right. You can never put too much chocolate sauce. Okay, Chef, if you don't mind, I'm going to try yeah, a little bit of this. Get in here, and I'm holding it for you. Okay. And, again, it starts, and we're going to talk more. Chef was talking about this. We're going to talk more about poke battle that's going to be happening on Saturday. We're going to tell you that uh, in the next half hour, yep. so we'll talk about that. I'm going to give this a try. There you go. All right, back across the street in the Wake Up Today studio. Jai, you got lucky on this one today. <laughs> you're, Christine, you're right. Uh, if there is a, something that I would volunteer for, it's what's happened today. You know what? Foodland is celebrating 70 years of existence. It started back in 1948. The very first store was opened at Market City, and it's blossomed into a really large local uh, grocery store that serves the folks here uh, in Hawaii. Now, I've got... And I want everyone that's involved in Wake Up Today, not just Christine, not just Kelly, not just Chris Latronic, but I want all of our producers to listen to this, okay? Especially Christian Valenzuela. Two magical words, poke battle. It's going to be happening this Saturday. I want to welcome in uh, Chef uh, Keone Chang. He is the corporate chef for Foodland. Uh, right? I mean, I can't get any better than to put those two words together, right? Poke battle. I thought you were going to say corporate chef. But yes, <laughs> poke battle wins, yeah. Absolutely. What do you have for us? Because you are one of those. Uh, first off, help me explain yes. exactly what Poke Battle is this yes. Saturday here at Foodland Farms at Alamoana Center. So Foodland, in conjunction with the Hawaii Food and Wine Festival, is hosting a Poke Battle. And we're going to have seven chefs coming out, myself and six others. And we're all going to duke it out to see who has the best poke. And the, the, the best part about this is this is open to the public. And the public is going to come to the store. And they will all get a ballot. And they will vote. And so whoever gets the most votes from the public's choice will win. And that winning chef's prize is $5,000 to the charity of their choice. Uh, if you were to win, yes. who benefits? My, my, uh, my choice is Hongwenji Mission School. Okay. So everyone come out and vote for Hongwenji Mission School and my poke. Take me through this real quick. What you okay, got? Okay, so we got fresh ahi in here. I have some red onions and we've got some cilantro. There's a little bit of jalapeno. And then Ooh. I'm going to put a little bit of, this is lava salt. We got some, uh, this is avocado oil. And we're keeping this light and fresh. We did a, I did a bunch of different versions. I felt like this is the one that really sang and it didn't overpower the ahi. So we're just going to mix this. It must be difficult having to go through the testing process. You know, the funny thing is people think it's so cool. It sounds very romantic. 
and it is really cool if you hit it right, but when you don't hit it right, sometimes it can be a little painful. So overall, I thought my, my experiments were good. Um, but this by far was the best, so. Oh, okay. It's good. I put it on a little, we're going to put it on a plate. There's a little bit of guacamole. I have a little bit of taro chips for texture. A little bit more of uh, cilantro. Now, the thing that I think that really makes this good is I finish it with a little bit of ponzu sauce that I have here. Oh, and all right. And we're going to put this on last because if I put the ponzu sauce early, the acid that's in the... Okay. Ponzu sauce turns the fish gray. Okay. So we put a little bit at the end here, just like that. Keone, thank you very much. Hey, noon to two, that is when the contest happens. It's here at Foodland Farms. And guys, you got to try it out. Seven of the very best in the state are going to be battling. It's Poke Battle. Back over to the Wake Up Today studio.